Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the zero to gold cap challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. For this week we have pretty much been farming up in the timeless isles. Um, by the way, I'm not in the timeless isles at this moment in time, mainly because I've got a very finite amount of time and the travel time is going to take too long. So that being the case, I am just going to stick up the spawn locations of all of the people that I have been farming up. Now, I've been actually trying to farm up battle pets within the Timeless Isles. And if we go to Pandaria, Timeless Isles, I usually just do this really weird route. And there is a couple of particular ones that do take a while in order to drop the battle pet, so to speak. Now, I did get some of the high value ones, such as one of the spine claws, which can be found along the coast. Basically, if you kill one of those crabs, it has a chance of spawning another crab, which has the chance of dropping the battle pet. So, yeah, that one's very long winded, but when you're doing the actual route, it doesn't take all that long to do. It's basically just kill, 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 kill. kill keep going keep going and follow yourself around the only thing is about the little base camps where the horde and the alliance are so if you're either faction you may have to just divert yourself around it otherwise the guards will start attacking you and it will cause a bit of a problem when you're trying to get around the actual place but other than that that we did actually manage to get a, quite a few amount of battle pets so let's go over which ones we actually got so let's just do this. For obvious instance, we actually managed to get a hold of the Spine Claw Crab, which is market value of about 174,599 gold. This is pretty damn good, and I love the value of this Crab, bat crab Battle Pet, so pretty damn happy with all of that right there. Um, by the way, just a little side note, I've just remembered off the top of my head. If you go into your garrison, uh, in Wad. If you haven't done the Menagerie quest, you can get a Battle Pet token that upgrades one Battle Pet to level 25 whenever you really want. Um, pretty much it's a one-time deal thing per character, so if you do have that or you have a load of alts, just go over to Wad, do the Menagerie little introduction quest. You literally run over to your mine, pick something up and give it back and you get the uh, battle token for battle pets to upgrade them to like level 25 so that's pretty damn good other than that with the spine claw crab we managed to get a hold of gucci swarmling which is a market value of around about 17,680 gold so i got two of those <clears throat> and along with that we actually also got a jade fire spirit now this one's found within the cave in the timeless isles and obviously, if you're looking up on the screen at this moment in time, well, if you're looking at the screen just a minute ago, it will actually show you on the map where to actually go if you want to actually get a hold of this thing. But um, basically, it's but pretty much just to reiterate where it actually is. So Times Isles, it's this cave right here, and all you have to do is just run in there and just kill all of the mobs in there, pretty much the jade spirits and all that jazz. Um, there is a rare spawn which does drop the ominous flame which we actually have with, but the market value was around about 10,928 gold. I think I may have that mixed around. Basically the rare spawn drops either one of these uh, so to speak. Uh, the trash mobs, I can't actually remember which ones drop which. Um, but if you just kill everything in that cave you're pretty much going to get either an ominous flame or a jade fire spirit is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Seriously, I'm very tired at this moment in time. So, um, so whoever actually comments it, where which one drops which, um, just I'll pin it to the top because I, yeah, <laughs> we, we've run a very tight, uh, short time constraint to do stuff at this moment in time. So, the. Next thing that I actually got hold of was three dandelion fur lockers, and that is pretty damn good. I'm really happy with that. They aren't worth all that much. They're about 195 gold each, so it's pretty damn crappy. So nearly 600, just under 600 gold for just those three. That's probably why I've got so many of them because they literally don't do all that much. 
But the other things that I did get a hold of was two Azure Crane Chicks, which are valued at 2,168 gold. And I also got two Jade Mist Dancers, which can be found if you go over to the Timeless Isles once again. And we'll go over here. They're just found in this spot right here. All you have to do is kill those mobs. But if you follow the route and you kill the mobs on the route, you should be fine. The Azure Crane Chick is just found from all of the nests around here. So whenever I'm like jumping around and getting to different places to kill other things, I open up all the all the nests and try and get hold of a Azure Crane Chick. Now the Jade Mist Dancers are valued at 5,490 gold, so pretty damn good. So pretty happy with that. That's like 10k right there. So yeah, they they sell right relatively fast, so I'm not really overly too concerned about their sell rates. And I did, which I'm very happy about, is get hold of two ruby droplets. Not one, but two ruby droplets. Pretty damn happy with that. They are valued at 28,642 gold on my realm, and I have two of them. So, in total, the things that are worth the most are the Jade Fire Spirit, which I think is the rare spawn inside the cave, not the mobs. The other one is the mobs, but yeah, we'll fact check that later on, and obviously pin. And so it's those four that were really, really high value, like 174,000, just under 30,000, and 40,000 gold for the JFAR Spirit. So those four are pretty damn good, but the rest of them are just add-ons for the route. So you just like pick them up as and when you do. So that being the case, we have a current bag value at around about 353,000 219 golds worth of value just from those battle pets so good week and to be honest I, I wanted to do something a little bit um actually in all honesty um I was looking at some of my old videos that I did a while back and uh, some people were saying that that it wasn't as time efficient to do it so Here's the proof that it actually works, uh, pretty much, for the Timeless Isle farm. Uh, it, it works re relatively well, it's pretty much just doing a, it, it usually takes around about 16, 16, 16, 17 minutes, depending on what you do, to actually get the mobs. The thing that takes the most time in order to see if the rare spawn is up is the ruby droplet, but really... You could probably just skip that if you really wanted to and just do all the mobs that are easier to get. Besides the Spine Claw Crab, that one really is RNG based. But other than that guys, that is pretty much what we've done for the week, is just farm up Battle Pets from the Times Isles to get the high value ticket ones, which we've got four of. So pretty damn happy and I think they will sell pretty well. Other than that, let's get into the gold for the week. Now, for the gold for the week is relatively crappy because we have sold none of our high ticket items of Transmog that we've been farming up the last couple of weeks. So, no glorious sales. So, at the moment, it's 21,784 gold for the first clean out. And the things that are of note was the Claws of Agony that sold for 2,731 gold. We sold the Death's Head Vestment for 2,263 gold. We also sold a stack of thick leather for 1,423 gold, and we sold an exalted whatever it is. I think they're gloves. They're uh, 2,030 gold. I'm not going to try and pronounce that because I'm I'm bad at English, even though I'm English. But that's not the point. Um, other than that, we did sell some imperial red robe for 1,160 gold. We also sold a stack of Viper Fish from a while back, a stack of 200 for 5,179 gold. And we sold a stack of 85 Green Dragon Scales for 1,013 gold, along with the Avengers Armor for 2,510 gold. The rest of it's all just low tier transmog or just one off pieces of um, materials. So, like the tin ore we got from chests through farming up. Uh, RFK the other week, so like tin or a stack of five for four gold, so it's really not overly that 
that bad. But um, 21,000 gold for the week, it's pretty low, but I'm guessing most of the sales are kind of low because we're just farming up high ticket stuff for high sales. And also everyone's playing classic at the moment, which I've been doing as well in the meantime. Um, I'm really enjoying classic at this moment in time, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably hoping to do some more videos and another four gold as well. But um, I want to do some more videos on Classic because I do love Classic at the moment and I'm starting to become a little bit obsessed with it. So um, if you're obsessed with Classic, please tell me in the comments and we'll try and see if, we, if we're if we on the same realm and if you want to hang out or something or make a guild or something, I'm up for that. But um, I've got to wait till like Saturday because I'm going to be working all the way through night shifts, right? But um, other than that, the week's been pretty damn good. We for gold value of just farming up stuff. Now hopefully we will get some high ticket sales soon over the weekend will be great and ideal. So hopefully we'll be selling a load of high ticket items and we'll be able to pull in some more heavy amounts of gold. But other than that guys, that is pretty much all I have for the week. Um, I've got to go to work now. Um, so I'll probably just edit this, shove it on, and I will see you on Monday's video, which I'm currently working on. So hopefully you guys will look forward to that one. But other than that, guys, have a lovely rest of the day. And I shall see you in the next video, which will be Monday. Have a great day and I shall see you soon.